Good morning, health professions. Um, our video this week is going to be talking about providing oral care of the unconscious adult. Um, in DHO, as you were first year, one of the first skills we actually did was denture care, brushing teeth, um, talking about infection prevention, and also talking about good hygiene and good oral hygiene as well. Okay. If you look at the desk underneath the um, screen, you can see that I actually have some different examples of how you can provide oral care and the tools that would be necessary to provide that. Um, one thing that I didn't get to show you in class when we were doing oral care, but we will backtrack, is the use of the lemon glycerin swabs. Okay, Lemon glycerin swabs are like giant size um, Q-tips that are moistened with lemon and glycerin which will help the patient who is unconscious salivate and produce some secretions to eliminate dry mouth also the glycerin provides moisture to that in the cup it looks like we have a bouquet of oral sponge toothettes that we use in providing oral care that we can swab inside the gums and the teeth to clean the roof of the mouth along with the tongue and of course, we have the mouthwash. We have non-alcohol mouthwash. It's alcohol-free pressed mouthwash that I ordered. Um, it actually provides moisture. It's got an antibacterial in it to try and kill the bacteria. And also you can see over there regular toothbrushes and a set of large, large dentures, okay? So as we move along in the PowerPoint, will be referencing and watching some YouTube videos that will actually be using some of these materials. So why is oral care so important? Normally the body's natural defenses and good oral health care, such as daily brushing and flossing, keep bacteria under control. However, without proper oral hygiene, bacteria can reach levels that might lead to oral infections, such as tooth decay and gum disease. Poor oral hygiene has been linked to respiratory infections such as pneumonia. Now when you talk about decay and gum disease and oral infections, take a peek at the picture that I actually inserted. You can see that this person has receded his gums all along up to the roots of the teeth and the teeth are all jagged and they're turning every which way, some are missing and you can see that there is black decay along with plaque buildup and swelling of the gums. If you take notice to this right here, where I'm actually showing with the laser, that's actually an abscess, which is a pussy infection and a collection of infectious material. That actually could travel to the bloodstream and cause severe infection throughout the body. You can also see tooth decay in that mouth as well. Now, we have mentioned in the past how you can have infections such as pneumonia because infections that start in your mouth can lead to even worse health conditions. For example, gingivitis is a common inflammation of the gums as demonstrated here along with periodontal disease, a much more serious infection that can cause tooth loss that actually has caused the loss of several teeth in this picture. Infections that start in your mouth have been linked to such complications and disease as asthma, arthritis, premature births, low birth babies, respiratory problems, coronary artery disease, and stroke. You would think that just having poor oral health would actually just affect the oral cavity, but that's not true. It can actually cause an infection that can go septic and cause inflammation in other parts of the body. So that is why we really rely so heavily on following good oral or, or well, excuse me, following good oral care and brushing and flossing your patient's mouth when they're not able to provide that care themselves. Um, the next slide over here, there are many different ways that you can provide oral care and there's many different modern appliances that actually have been um, put on the market. This over here, we spoke of the lemon glycerin swabs and you have the two fets over here. They come in different flavors as you can see. And also this appliance here is a cleaning, two fet, a cleaning toothbrush and 
a catheter that actually sucks out secretions and debris out of a patient's mouth that can't swallow or can't spit, if you will, or expel the um, excess fluids in the mouth. This actually would connect to a suction catheter. I've used these when I was down at um, Good Shepherd Hospital down in Allentown with some of my nursing students in the past. There was a lot of head and brain, traumatic brain injury with patients, but we still had to provide the oral care. And of course, it was very difficult to um, keep those secretions at a minimum so that that patient did not aspirate. And these appliances are actually used in rehab or in long-term care on a daily basis, sometimes twice a day for oral care and or as needed. So I'm just going to move over and play some of these videos and we will talk about them. Um, this is just providing oral care with lemon glycerin swabs, very simply done. So as you can see in that video, okay, the nursing assistant or nurse is actually taking the lemon glycerin swabs and she was actually cleansing in between the teeth and the lips and the cheeks. And she was also taking one out after it's single use, taking it out, cleaning, disposing of it taking out another one, cleaning and disposing of it. And because of the principle with the lemon in it, lemon actually elicits a production of saliva that provides some moisture in that oral cavity. So she left that over by the lips for just um, you know, a second or two. And then she proceeded to cleanse and moisturize with the glycerin component in that swab for the lips, okay? This one here, is actually um, it's more of an advertisement yet it's very good nonetheless because it does show you how this appliance works it is a suction lighted toothbrush that you can see will suck out extra saliva the thought that wheels on a chair could act as someone's legs the thought that something as simple as wrinkles could add convenience to our everyday lives the thought that a minor function can make a major difference in life. These are the thoughts beyond their times, the thoughts that brighten up the world. What is the one thing we can do that can better the lives of others? That one thing was to think. When we learn that effortless, mundane, day-to-day -day activities could be a difficult and painstaking feat for another, we were the first to come up with a solution. Starting with the mundane and small tasks that we all take for granted, we wanted to make a reality where dreams, no matter how big or small, come true. with the hopes of brightening the world. For a better life, a brighter future, 
we continue to think beyond our time. Okay, so again, this instrument, you can definitely bear witness to the, the positive use of that because you actually have a toothbrush that's actually brushing along, but it's also sucking out the extra liquids that you're using and the toothpaste to prevent aspiration. I've also, I haven't used one with a lighted instrument on it like that, but it shows the actual secretions, the um, water that you're using and the toothpaste getting sucked into the suction tubing and getting collected in a receptacle. I'm sure that's quite expensive and something um, more reasonably priced would be used in the uh, common everyday occurrence, such as this next video with cleansing with an oral suction sponge and a mouth cleanser. I just wanted you to be able to see how this takes place. Keeping your mouth clean is an important part of staying healthy. Bacteria and dental plaque can lead to gum diseases like gingivitis. People who have dysphagia or have trouble swallowing are also at increased risk for pneumonia. When you're caring for someone who has a hard time spitting or swallowing, you can use suction oral care products to help safely clean the mouth. Our Toothette suction toothbrush system with Corins makes it easy for caregivers to safely clean someone's mouth. Our suction toothbrush and applicator swab comes with sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda, which helps break down plaque. Our Corins oral rinse is an antiseptic cleansing solution that helps reduce bacteria in the mouth. The solution cleanses and moisturizes with a pleasant spearmint flavor. Before opening, use your thumbs to burst the solution packet. This will release the oral solution and saturate the toothbrush. Peel the lid to open the package and remove the suction toothbrush and attach to the suction tubing. The soft bristles of the suction toothbrush are gentle on teeth and gums. The foam on the back of the toothbrush helps deliver the cleansing solution throughout the mouth. Clean the teeth and mouth for approximately one minute. To suction, place your thumb over the thumb port. When you're finished, remove your thumb from the suction port. Rinse to clear the line. Disconnect and discard the suction toothbrush. Repeat cleaning with the other swab as needed. Feel confident using hospital quality products at home with our oral care solutions. For more information. Okay, and that's the end of that video. Um, I wanted to be able to show you different ways that uh, mouth care can be provided um, to ensure that good oral hygiene takes place, okay? That's just, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.